This afternoon and evening, we're still going to be watching a dry line work its way in from west to east, and that's where we're going to see the progression of the severe thunderstorms. Want to take a view right now? We uh, do have our storm chaser out and about, our CBS 11 storm chaser out and about this afternoon. Jack Fink is out there, uh, and you can see kind of that view of just one of the severe storms that we've been watching on our radar a severe thunderstorm warning with that storm over Denton County, um, and the threats with that one again have been 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And up to quarter size hail. So, uh, an impressive view. You can see the raindrops starting to fall down there on his, uh, on the windshield there. Take our link system, Jeff, behind the wheel today, helping me to uh, do radar for these storms as they're firing up. So, again, we just saw the sky view of that Denton storm. Here's the radar view. That storm, these storms are clipping off at a good pace, anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour off to the northeast. You can see um, where some of our storm chasers are. But again, moving off to the north. East as we stop the clock and track this one with you, with again the main threats being some small hail, thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm warnings will continue anywhere from about 4:30 up to 5 o'clock, stretching from up towards Sherman and then down again towards Tarrant County, where we do have a severe thunderstorm out as well. The threats with that one also 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail, and then Johnson County, our latest warning warning with that storm until 515. So tracking this with you, if you are um, in Tarrant County, who's going to be in line for this storm and when? Uh, looks like we've got Lakeview, 420 or so, and then uh, closer to Keller just after 445. That storm will be headed your way. And uh, Jeff, if you want to track any of these others, there we go. The one down to the south. Let's see where this one's headed. So right now, very close to Cleburne. It might clip you, at least the southern extent of that storm. Uh, you're going to see it around Cleburne, 330. And then as we take a look for uh, Marystown around 445, you'll be getting in on that severe storm. As far as the hail size right now, uh, might have some larger hail with this one. Again, the warnings have been issued for the threat of up to quarter size hail. Perhaps, though, we see some larger hail out of those, and that's something that we will be keeping an eye on. But Joshua Dakeen would have the best threat to see some very large hail out of that. So, again, right now it's really just this messy line of severe storms, and they're all ahead of the dry line. I want to flip back over to Max One and show you what we're dealing with here. The big view here. Dry line working its way towards I-35. Cold front still back off to the west. And then an upper level feature that's really driving this whole system is back off to the northwest. As we go on into the night, we will start to see this activity dwindle once the cold front comes through. But it's all fair game, at least up into the evening. And you can see where those storms are firing up. Let's track the timeline with this activity. Metroplex, you're still under the gun as we move into the five o'clock hour. That does include back around Tarrant County. And then as we progress on six, seven o'clock, notice that the dry line gets taken up by that cold front late into the evening by about eight, nine o'clock. I think we're seeing activity dwindle significantly. And then on to Saturday. What a different day it's going to be for us. Back to some much cooler weather. It's going to be windy tomorrow. That sunshine will get back in here. Temperatures only in the 60s for tomorrow. Threats with these storms. We have again been emphasizing the hail threat. It looks like that will be our biggest threat, but can't also rule out a tornado threat. Certainly the largest threat for tornadoes will be off across extreme eastern portions of Texas, Texarkana, up into Little Rock. And then our hail threat is really a bigger threat with these storms that fire up. It looks like the heaviest threat is also going to be closer to Sulphur Springs, Tyler, Texas, and off back to the east. Moving on through the rest of tonight, look for those storms to diminish after the evening period. We do drop off quickly tonight. Overnight lows will be in the upper 40s. Looking ahead tomorrow, 64. Your extended forecast going to stay very interesting. 70s in the forecast by Monday and already back in the 80s by Tuesday.